Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make Thai green mango dipping sauce or น้ำปลาหวาน Recipe being liquid for long, long time, so I'm so happy I can show you how to make it today. So let's get started. I gonna start with the dry trim. I gonna pile the dry trim first. Okay, I use a uh, two out the dry trim. Okay, and we gonna pile them. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, and then now I done powdering our dry shrimp. You don't have to powder them until they turn to the powder. This is just enough. Just make them a little bit softer. Okay, and now we're gonna remove uh, to the little bowl. This one, one of my favorite snack in Thailand. If you go to Thailand, you will see this dipping sauce a lot. You will see the little cart selling the food, and they have a lot of choice for the dipping sauce for you. This one, one of the classic and very popular one in Thailand. And now we have all our ingredient ready, and I ready to cook. I gonna start with our water. I turn on the heat to medium and start to put the three tablespoon the water. Okay, and the palm sugar. I use eleven out palm sugar. So one, two, three, four, five. About six of the a little palm sugar like this. Eleven out, and then we're gonna wait until our palm sugar is dissolved. Okay, take about two to three minutes. Now your uh, palm sugar all dissolved. Next, I gonna add the our shallot. I use five small shallot. Okay, put it all in. Okay, all right. And then now I uh, remove the heat to be low low heat. Got the all sugar all dissolved, and we are gonna cook the shallot uh, for a minute. Okay, next I'm gonna add uh, our trim paste. I use the one and a half teaspoon. If you don't have a uh, trim paste, you can use extra fish sauce because they're salty. But this is add a little bit traditional flavor of Thai dipping sauce. Wow, this is smell really strong. This is not for the cameraman, all gonna be for me. And um, a trim paste, a little bit, not a little bit, a very, very strong. If you don't like them, just skip it and put the fish salt or salt instead. Okay, next, I'm gonna add our dry trim that we just powering earlier. Okay, I use the two out, the good curry dry trim. Okay, and stir. And trim paste, remember trim paste and the dry trim, they're both salty. So be careful um, when you're gonna put the fish sauce or salt, so have to be careful. Okay, after I put the trim, I cook for 3 minutes and keep stirring for 3 minutes. Next, I'm gonna put our Thai chili that I chopped them, I use 6 Thai chili. So if you um, cannot handle the too spicy, just up to you, just cut it down. So I use six of them. Okay, Thai chili, and then next, our chili flakes, one tablespoon. Go in. Okay, and I'm gonna, at the same time, now I'm gonna add the fish sauce also. So I'm gonna add three tablespoon fish sauce. Go in. Okay, and now, still keep stirring uh, make our trim and all the ingredients cook together and make the salt like coming back a little thicker again so we're gonna start uh, we're gonna continue cooking I continue and cook in the low heat about five minutes to make the salt thicker and now um, I'm gonna taste our dipping sauce 
really really hot and I'm gonna hit just a little bit mm. I need a little bit more the fish sauce so I'm gonna put about another one tablespoon the fish sauce okay gonna put one tablespoon more all right okay and I'm gonna let it cook another three to four minutes so make the fish sauce and mix well I put one more tablespoon for the fish sauce because it adds a little more flavor and a little more salty so make it all balanced and perfect for me for you it's up to you if you like just the way it is or you just leave it like that and now after we cook another three to four minutes the sauce start getting coming boiled again and thicker when they cool they will be uh, thicker so now we are done I gonna turn off the heat okay and now I gonna set our salt on the side letting cool down a little bit okay gonna put inside this bowl actually after they cooking the smell is not that bad this is um from the cameraman he tell me for me it's a uh, normal for me for the smell but for the cameraman of course um, this salt a little bit strong but he say after cooking it's not that bad okay now I gonna set the salt on the side and I gonna cut our green mango look at this oh, my mouth is watering okay and now we're gonna cut our green mango I found this green mango only a dollar for each so the good pie normal I not see them too much so I'm so happy to grab them and now I gonna cut the green mango I'm gonna peel and cut the green mango oh, look at this so good they're really big look and now I done peeling the mango the green mango and then I lend them to clean them a little bit and now I'm gonna dry them before I cut them small thinly slide them and for the perfect to eat with the dipping sauce we have to cut our mango um, thin but if you cannot find the green mango one more fruit that you can use for this dipping sauce is a green um, apple the green apple sometimes I use green apple and they come out really good too when I cannot find the green mango and this my mango and how about I cut them thin like this and when you dipping it will be easy to dip and you can get a lot of salt wow I cannot wait to try this this make me miss the Thailand so much one of the our popular street food and now I gonna try our dipping salt with the green mango okay when the your salt cooling down a little bit they start a uh, Thicker, see, and then they cover all the mango. You can gap some trim. I should get a spoon, but no, I didn't. So, <laughs> mm, now I have one trim right here. Wow, mm. 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 Um, I can wait to eat more and more and more. This is one of my favorite snacks in Thailand. We everybody always gap a pieces and eat all together. Um, I don't know the cameraman gonna try it with me or not, but I telling you, this is really really good and easy recipe. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like this recipe, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.